Hey guys, it's Mama Bear from Mama Bear's Backpack. I'm about five minutes from my home. I'm down at the beach on the north shore of Lake Ontario and uh, it's part of the town that I live in. I'm Today I'm demonstrating the climbing fire stick. I got the idea from Dave Pearson at Really Big Monkey 1 Fun in the Woods. Part of the uh, suggestions he was doing in his video were about the way that it, the fire climbed on a match, he showed it on a tiny match and I've decided I, today I've got a great big long, a long one. I'm going to demonstrate the same idea. See if I can get this to light. I didn't bring a lighter with me of all silly things. Okay, Dave made a point of showing us in his video how you're supposed to support the back of the head of the match and drag it and then remove your finger because I really wasn't paying attention. Of course, I went and I broke mine. Now, I didn't even bring a, a, a lighting platform, so I'm hoping I can get it to light off of a, a stone. What kind of prepared girl am I if I don't even have a lighter with me for this demonstration? Silly mama. Okay, so I don't have a lighter with me. I will save this match, but I will uh, Again, I will try the uh, finger behind the head of the match and drag it across the surface and uh, let it ignite, removing your finger immediately. The idea is that if you hold a match, you hold the match upright, the flames are going to move very slowly down the stick. If you move, hold the flame horizontal, again, they're going to move a little bit faster, but they're still only going to move along the edges of the, the match and they're going to move up to up to the end and burn your fingers up to the fuel uh, with these very fine edges. If you hold the match inverted, flame is going to move very quickly up to the fuel and uh, bite into these sharp edges of this stick that is the match. I'm going to save that match now and see if I can get it lit. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do this demonstration without actually igniting what Dave did in his video, and I'm going to try to duplicate here, is he took a very dry stick that he found. He found some dead standing. I brought this one from home because I didn't know if I would find anything dry down here at the beach. I'm going to shave down this stick very much the way that the match stick is shaped. So it's going to have um, a very fine tip in the beginning to make um, the difference between tinder and kindling and fuel. There's going to be tiny feather, very light, take a spark and turn it into a tinder. And then from the tinder you go into kindling, which takes a flame and makes, you know, holds it longer. And then into fuel, which is going to actually be the burning material. The idea is to have it all in one piece and that you can take one match and you can light your, light your piece with one match. The tinder will spread to the kindling which will spread to the fuel and then you lay that into your fire. I'm going to start hacking and chopping and cutting and we'll see what we come up with. Now I do have to tell you, every knife I have has been given to me, gifted to me. I haven't purchased a single one. So uh, please don't give me flack about the knife selection I have. It's what I've got. It works for me for now. Some of them I haven't even used. I have a, a machete I'm going to try out today and see. Actually, I'll do it right now. I'll see if it works for me. It's a Camilla's Carnivore. Now I know these have not received the best reviews online. I don't even know if I've got this one sharpened. It'll have to do. It's what I've got for today. Now the idea, you see, I don't want to do that. <laughs> the idea with this is to get these 
these edges as straight as I can and get this tip as fine as I can. I feel already that I have more control with my hatchet than I do with this thing. I don't think it's very sharp. And it seems a little unwieldy for me. It's got serrations halfway up. I can't use half of the blade and I would rather use that section of the blade for chopping. I'm going to have to uh, practice with it and get used to it. But for now, it's not my favorite at all. My Shrade 36, I wasn't too fond of it when I first started using it either. Let's see if this is any better. Not so much for chopping. Is it any better for... this knife sharpened and I've, I've had lessons on how to sharpen this so it is a little better but it still feels like a, a very thick blade for some of these finer tasks that I'm trying to get at today and although I can baton with it and I can uh, treat it a with a little more brute force I still keep coming back to my my mora it's uh, it's the right size for my hand, and I'm practiced at handling it, and I can get more of the motions I need out of it. Finer stuff, finer work. Now, I'm wondering, now David su uh, suggested that these have to have very sharp edges, and I haven't got to that point yet, but I'm wondering if almost a concave shape will give me more of the kindling type material, more of a tinder edge to catch the kindling material because that will flare it out and uh, create a bit of a dip, dip in the center. Now, I'm, I'm thinking of, of feathering the end instead of, um, instead of just making one very fine line. David did his with a one just very fine line on the bottom. I'm thinking feathering it might be more productive for me. I'm not sure. Um, I kind of am winging this. I've never done this before, so except for an attempt that failed. We'll see what I can get from here. If all else fails, I do have a ferro rod. I can start a fire with something else and then uh, transfer it over to my match. I'm really disappointed in myself for not carrying a match. Okay, so I've got my stick. I've got it to a very fine point at the tip, paper, paper, paper thin. And then I've got a few um, feather curls added in there and I made these edges pretty sharp. Uh, I've only done three edges in David's, he did four, but uh, in theory that should still, if it's gonna catch, it's gonna catch. It's very windy down here today, so we'll see how it goes. If all else fails, I will continue the experiment at home Oh, it's just mashing the finish off of the match. I've done a modification on my just a mora sheath and uh, in the modification I was able to uh, add a little tube for my ferro rod to fit in and I just have a piece of a bungee cord on it and then I was able to slip in a carabiner full of all kinds of little gadgety things. Um, a whistle and a compass and a flashlight and a fishing kit and you know the like. I've also taken my this is just a Mora companion and they come with um, they, they don't have a 90 degree spine but uh, my Dremel tool has been my friend and I have made a oh I gotta get the black stuff off this one first I didn't realize it was new okay I've got sparks going I've um, flattened off the end so that I could get sparks. Well, I love the sizzle I'm getting off of this ferro rod, but uh, I am really ill prepared today. So I have to really use my mind and figure out what I'm doing here. How am I going to do this effectively? Have a look at my surroundings. What do you see right over there? 
I see a birch tree. I can go and skim some bark off of the birch tree. I will be right back. So I have a piece of birch bark. Let's give this a whirl. I'm going to take the birch bark and I'm going to scrape the outside of it and scrape off some of these. Well, this looks like it's got lichen on it, so that is a good start. But I'm also going to scrape into the tinder, into the into the fibers a little bit and uh, get some of that fluffed up because I know that will take a spark from a ferro rod. Okay. This little bundle should take a spark from a ferro rod. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, I'm having a Joe Robinette moment. Hang on. I set my ferro rod down <laughs> inside my backpack, luckily, but uh, I kind of panicked. Where did I put it? Oh, crap. <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting sparks. There's not a problem with that. Let's give this a whirl. I want this on top of something. There we go. So I can rest it properly. You know what? I've had a summer of camping and, and group work and I haven't had to light a fire since probably May. This feels really, really awkward. Okay, I need to move. This isn't working. There we go, birch bark. <laughs> I knew birch bark would do it. So there we go, I have a little bit of birch bark burning. Okay, now I don't want a whole big fire going on. I just want enough to light my match so that I can uh, demonstrate this. I'm gonna let that burn down for a bit. I don't know why that was taking, so difficult to do, that is crazy. But once I got the right posture, it just took three or four strikes instead. So let's get, let's get this down. You can see that big piece is burning long enough that it would get the rest of a fire going. It's just like putting paper in the bottom of it, of a fire, and then lighting it with your lighter. Okay, so here is my project again. I'm going to light my match. There we go, and I'll demonstrate. Uh, it goes out. It is windy here today, so. There we've got it, and here is the idea. There we've got it. The idea of the climbing stick. This way, yes, it burns. It's got quite a bit of wind to it. If I blow it this, if do it this way, do we get it? It's gonna crawl across that stick. This way, it's not gonna crawl. Oh, see, it actually goes out. So let's do this again. There we go, and oh my goodness. Okay, that's it, my birch bark has gone out. My matches have gone out. <laughs> my experiment <laughs> is not working for me today. Sorry guys, I will have to go home and do this in my yard instead of trying to do it out in the field. I'll catch you on the flip side. I've got a box of Coughlin's waterproof matches and um, I tried striking them against the edge of my chimney and all that happened was the, uh, the the cap came off, the ignition cap just shredded all over the place and it made a mess. I tried striking another one of these barbecue fireplace matches on there and it didn't take there either. It will light here. So we can demonstrate that uh, if it doesn't blow out in the wind. It's not even that windy here. There's a slight breeze. I really just don't like them. This is why I don't like matches. Okay, I've, have I got a good start on there? Is it gonna stay? So if you have one match, can you get the climbing fire stick to ignite? So here I have my stick with its paper fine tip 
and sharp, sharp edges. See, I've got this very sharp edges here. So this provides the tinder. This provides the kindling. And as it climbs up the stick, it's going to provide fuel. It will, the fire stick takes to sharper edges more quickly. These, these edges won't take as quickly as an edge that's been cut. And my match just went out. I've got one more match that I've left out. Let's give this a whirl. Okay, there we go. Let's see if a single match can ignite enough of this to take a proper fire. I'm gonna put my match out. Risky, but I'm gonna put my match out. Oh, and there, it's gone out already. David, I'm not so sure I like this method. Mostly because I don't like matches, I think. Try again. And, the, and it's not even really windy. The leaves on my, my trees nearby, I have an elderberry bush right over there, right over there. And it's not it's hardly moving at all. So it's not windy windy. It's just a slight breeze. I Do have a little bit of um, feathering still left on there? Will it take will it climb up the edges of that? Nothing. Okay. Now I have a, a question that's come to my mind. Why on earth would I try fighting and fussing with this? This doesn't make any sense. Now I should be taking this match and putting it into a bundle. Getting my bundle lit and getting my fines lit. My, my pencil lead size or my feather stick size. That one's burning my fingers. Okay. David, this is not working. And in theory, it doesn't even make sense to me now. I love you, man. This is crazy. I had to go through the experiment to determine that it's a method that's not going to work well for me. It doesn't make sense to me. Why would I do this instead of just feathering? Why would I use this method instead of just feathering a bunch of sticks or a stick that I've taken off the wet edge and gotten into the center and and made some, you know, got to the dry core? Why would I struggle and struggle and struggle to get it to ignite and stay lit? If it's even the slightest bit breezy it's going to blow out if i only have one match i want that match igniting a bundle of dried grass or igniting a bundle of feather sticks or in igniting some birch bark that i can i have in a you know in a bundle or that i can put into a bundle or i can use it in some other way this climbing fire stick I'm sorry, David, it's not working for me, baby. <laughs> I'll have to come up with something else. Thanks for your idea. I had to run with it and give it a try. We don't know unless we try, right? And uh, I give up. Thanks, guys. Mama Bear out. Have a great night.